so let's begin I have already moisturized my face and put some under eye cream because my eyes are super dry lately let's start off with my primer and for primer today I have the first Solly unicorn essence it's not really new I mean it's been out for quite some time and you guys have probably seen it everywhere on Instagram and all that especially Instagram but I will be trying it out today and I've heard people use this like as a primer so we're just gonna go ahead and use this as a primer I'm gonna do the cute little thing that everyone does <laughs> So this actually feels quite nice on the skin. I will see how my foundation goes on. So for foundation today, I'll be trying out the Dior Skin Forever Foundation. And I have this in the shade 041 Ochre or Okra. I had to guess the shade online, of course, so I'm not too sure if this will match, but we shall see. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this foundation. Um, a lot of people love it, a lot of people don't, so I'm curious to see. I'm just going to dot this on like I do with all my foundations. I'm going to do one side with a beauty blender and the other with a brush. I'll take a little bit more. I don't know what the coverage is like on this foundation, so I should probably go slowly, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, the color is, I think, good. Yeah, matches me pretty well. Now, hmm. I don't know how I feel about this foundation, though. Okay, so for some reason, I have this foundation just, like, sticking to my skin kind of weirdly. I don't even know how to explain it. There was like a point where there was just like a whole bunch of foundation just stuck there. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know how I feel about this foundation to be honest. I don't think I'm crazy about it. It is lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. Is it supposed to feel heavy? What does it say? Is it full coverage? Um, it just says Dior Forever Perfect Makeup Everlasting Wear Poor Refining Effect. Now, I don't have that. <laughs> Let me see what it says on the back of, whoops. Dior creates perfect makeup, everlasting wear. Dior Forever, it's fluid, non-greasy texture, perfectly blends with the skin for an immediate matte finish with no mask effect. Mask on, fuck it, mask on. Throughout the day, it provides optimal comfort and flawless wear. Day after day, the skin's texture appears refined and its surface beautifully enhanced. I'm gonna try this side with the brush to see if I like it better with the brush. I feel like it's a little too matte on my skin. I mean, I am combination, but my skin is looking a little too matte, I feel like. This foundation does feel like another skin. Like it doesn't feel like you have a layer of foundation on. It just looks a little natural. Yeah, but... For concealer today, I don't have anything new to try out. So I'm going to be just using my Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm going to do some cream contouring now. And for that, I have these Rimmel Duo Contour Sticks. These are new, I believe. I have the shade Medium and Dark. Not too sure how dark the medium is, so I also wanted to pick up the dark. Goodness, I hate that Walmart freaking just tapes their whole product. Like, the whole thing itself. It's freaking taped. Like, seriously, how am I supposed to open this? Goodness. I don't know if it's only Walmart or every drugstore, but I just feel like it's only Walmart. Like, they freaking tape the entire product itself. Like, I'm not talking about the packaging tape. I'm talking about, like, legit tape. So annoying. Especially when you have nails. I don't want to be ruining your nails. 
Yeah, the foundation is not my favorite, to be honest. I'm looking at it and eh, it's all right. It's okay. Uh, but we'll see after I'm done my full makeup how it looks. I'm gonna try the medium one first to see. Um, so this is what it looks like. You have the contour on one end and then you have the highlighting on the other. It reminds me a lot of the KKW um, contour sticks, right? I have not tried the KKW contour sticks. Whoa. So let's move on to the dark one. Hopefully I get something here. Whoa, what is this? It's like kind of melting, guys. <laughs> it's weird. So yeah, like I mentioned, I'm using the dark one. And for some reason, the medium one was kind of like melting. Even I can see that right here. Okay, let's just blend this up. Let's see. They're blending very easily, which is good. If you're my skin tone or a little bit darker, you should definitely go with the dark contour. But the only thing is that if you are more of a deeper skin tone, then um, you're probably not gonna like this because it's not really gonna show up on your skin. The dark is not as dark. All right, so now I'm just gonna set the under eye. I'm gonna be trying out the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is the new powder that they came out with, and I am using it in light medium. I really like the packaging. I think they have light, light medium, medium and dark. Ooh, this looks quite dark actually. This is not too dark actually. I'm just gonna dust it all over to lock everything in. I feel like the foundation is clinging onto some dry patches on my face. All right, so next, what are we gonna try? I think I'm gonna do my eyes now. I'm gonna be using this new Maybelline, the City Mini Palette. Looks like this, it has some pretty colors in there. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. I'm gonna throw this into my crease. It's a little bit powdery but color is there so I think this palette comes in like four different shades um, this one that I picked up is more like pinky neutral they also have one that's like army green shades and then a brown neutral palette and then also a cool tone one I believe with more like smoky grays next I'm gonna take this shade right here the dark brown I'm gonna switch to a different brush and just pack this color a little bit more, the brown. Next, let's take this shade right here, the pink. Not bad. I'm leaving the inner part of the eye blank. Cause I want to put a different shade there. All right, let's blend this out. There isn't a ton of fallout with this shade actually. Now for the inner corner, I'm gonna take this light pink right here. Okay, I'm gonna wet my brush and go into the pink 
the lid shade one more time. Next, I'm gonna take this shade right here uh, for the brow bone highlight. Blend it up. Alright, so the eyes are almost done. I'm gonna go ahead do my liner and lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my liner and lashes done. Um, I don't have any new liner or lashes to try out, so I just decided to do it off camera. Now we're just gonna bronze. I'm gonna try out the Maybelline Master Bronze. I'm gonna take... Oh, this one has a little bit of shimmer in it, eh? I can see that. So it comes with two highlight shades and then two bronzer shades. And then the two highlights, one is more champagne gold and one is more pink. I'm just gonna mix the two bronzers and see how it is. You can't really see the shimmer when you put it on your face, so it's good. I like this actually. These are nice bronzers. I'm gonna take the more cool toned shade which is the last one I'm just gonna contour my nose and this is not bad I like the bronzers so far they blend nicely and the color is really pretty too and you can't really see the shimmer I'm just gonna finish off the lower lash line I'm gonna take the dark brown we're on a flat definer brush I'm gonna take a little bit of this pink here. So I'm thinking whether I should use the highlighter in here or should I try the e.l.f. what is it called? Baked highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. I picked this one as well. So I guess we're just gonna try them both. This is pretty. But for today's look, I need more of a golden champagne. This is more pearly. Whoa. As you can tell from the name Moonlight Pearls. So I want to just go with a little bit of the gold from the Maybelline palette. My highlighter is too light today. Okay. We need to tone this down. For blush today, I have a new one. The Maybelline Fit Me. These are their new blushes. I picked it up in the shade Coral. And take my beauty blender, go over it to kind of tone it down. You know what? I need my Nicole Glow. I need a little bit more gold, so I'm gonna take the Nicole Glow palette. So I'm just going to line my lips with the NYX Natural Lip Pencil. For lipstick today, I'm going to be trying out the new Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. I got in the shade Heroin, number 25. This is a bright orange shade and it looked really, really nice. So let's see. pigmented I don't really like the applicator that much yeah I'm not really a big fan of the lipstick I don't really like the formula it's way too sticky and it's just not really drying down as I thought it would um, I thought it would be like more matte maybe it takes a little bit longer to dry down but so far 
I'm not really liking it and it's just crumbling up in the inner corner I mean the inner part of my mouth so I don't know if it's just this color but it doesn't it just feels too sticky I don't know all right so I think this completes this look So starting off with the first Sol Unicorn Essence, I like this. I like how this feels on my skin, but I didn't see like a huge, huge difference. Now, it might be because of the foundation. Maybe it didn't really work that well with the foundation. It might be the foundation that I use today, which is the Dior Skin Forever. I will talk about that in just a bit. Um, but I do still want to use this a couple more times and see how it is. The foundation that I use today is the Dior Skin Forever and not a big fan of this. I feel like it clinged onto my dry patches, accentuated my pores, <laughs> which is weird because it says everlasting wear, pore refining effect yeah not really my favorite i wouldn't recommend it i wouldn't say go out you need this you need to buy this right now uh not really the maybelline superstay matte ink i don't like the formula of this i don't know if it's just this color but i don't like the formula it's way too sticky and it takes some time to dry i mean that's not the biggest complaint that i have i can wait for it to dry down completely that's totally fine but it's just that i don't like the formula fit. i don't like the stickiness and it just crumbles on my inner lips so yeah not a big fan i don't know if it's just this color but yeah now the bronzer i liked i do like the two bronzing shades i think it's pretty it's a nice contour and the highlight i didn't try the second one here but this one it's not too bad not too bad it's okay but I like the bronzers more now the elf um, moonlight pearl highlighter it's way too light for my skin tone if you are my skin tone or darker go with the other shade I think they had something called bronze something they have other shades just too white on my skin so if you're lighter than me then you'll like it and last but not least the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder I like it it's nice I like the packaging it's really nice and compact and this eyeshadow palette I think it's a nice palette I like the layout of it and I love how they put like the colors together you have like a crease color nice lid shade and even like a dark brown to deepen up the um, corners a nice brow bone shade so I like the color scheme of this palette I think it's cute compact and i do like the colors that they chose to put in each of the palettes so yeah that wraps up this video i really hope you guys enjoyed hope you liked me you know trying out new products and kind of giving you my thoughts along the way um i really liked it so yeah let me know in the comments down below if there are any other new products you would like me to try or they don't have to be new but anything that you would like me to try uh let me know in the comments down below i would love to do it and if you like this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it and i will see you all in my next video Thank you.